Has your chemical-free iron sulfur filter stopped working? Have you noticed that the stains are back? When you had iron before, you put it in the system, it solved it, you got rid of the iron. If you had sulfur, it got rid of that sulfur smell. It was fantastic. Everybody was happy, but now it's back again. So I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot that concern in seven easy steps and how to fix it right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water. And uh, so you've got an iron sulfur filter, something like this one here and uh, it, it draws in air. That's how these th systems work. They draw in air to oxidize out the iron and the sulfur out of the water. And then once it's oxidized that out, it traps it inside the tank and then it backwashes to clean itself out. If you want to see more about the, how these things actually work, I'll put a link in the description down below and in the cards up above so you can check that out too. So, so the key is we have to draw in air. If it doesn't draw in air, it's not going to work. Now I should mention there's different kinds of chemical free iron sulfur filters. Some of the older technology ones uh, use something like this, a MAZI bypass to suck in air. We're not going to be talking about those today. I'll put a link again in the description down below and in the cards up above so you can access that information if that's the kind of system you have. So with these kinds of systems, first of all, you have to troubleshoot it to find out what, what's causing the concern. So to do that, you need to regenerate the system. So there's a regeneration button on the front. You hold it down for five seconds and you'll hear the valve start up, just like that. Once it starts up, it's going to first go through the backwash um, cycle. And uh, what that does is to clean everything out of the, the tank. So what we want to do, we want to get to the second cycle. So once it starts counting down, so now it's showing 1455 and it's counting down. So once it started the countdown, you can push the button again and that'll advance it to the next cycle. And this next cycle is where we're actually going to do our troubleshooting. So at this stage is where it says it's in the brine cycle, but it's actually sucking in air. So it's in the air draw cycle. So at this point, we should be hearing air or a gurgling sound coming from this area here, this air draw here. And uh, sometimes, it depends on your water flow, etc. How how much, how loud that gurgling sound is. If you're not sure if you're, like I usually put my ear very close to it to listen to it, or you can wrap your hand around it and kind of let go and see if the sound changes. But if it's sucking in air through there, then it's working, the air draw is working correctly. But if it's not sucking air in through there, that's your problem. So the next stage is we have to fix that problem. So while it's still in the brine cycle, you can bypass it. So to bypass it, you go to the bypass valve at the back and you point the two arrows to each other and that bypasses the system and releases the pressure inside. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to um, uh, open it up inside here. So, so this is the, the drain line over here. Actually, I'll spin this around a little bit easier so you can get a better idea. This is the drain line where it connects here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to pull this out and uh, drain the water out of it. Now, to get a small bucket handy, etc. So you pull this out, click that off, and like I said, there'll be some water in here. It might drain out. Now, it depends. If your drain line goes up, there's going to be quite a bit of water. If your drain line goes down, there'll be almost nothing. All right. So once we've released that, actually, we can put that back together. And then over here... This is where the injector is in here. This is what creates the draw. And uh, so what you can do is open this up. Now I've already loosened this up. You may need to use a set of channel locks, something like this to open this up and unscrew that. Once you've unscrewed it, you'll see an injector inside here. And uh, so you just use the edge of this to pry that injector out. There. If you can't get it out with the edge of, uh, of the cap, you can always use a pair of um, needle nose pliers and yank it out. So this is the injector here, and it has a small hole in the middle. And I'm going to bet if yours is in drawing air, that hole is clogged, and it's probably clogged with iron. And uh, so what you can do, you can clean this out, but the problem is you can't make the hole any bigger. You can use a wooden toothpick or something like that. It's usually best just to replace this whole injector. Now the injector, um, we have them available on our e-commerce site. So I'll put a link down below and, and the cards up above where you can order the replacement. Just make sure you replace it with the same color one that you have. This one happens to be blue. Some other units use white, etc. So just make sure you use the same color one. Replace it. It's a very relatively inexpensive part, so it, it, it truly is much better just to replace it than to try to clean it. And then snug that up. Tighten it up. Like so. And then, like mine, it's still in a cycle here right now. What you can do is you can put the unit, take it off bypass, put it back into service, 
and you should hear air being sucked in through here. Now, if you still don't hear any air being sucked in through here and you're getting uh, that iron staining is still there and that what's happened is the media inside the tank is worn out and you need to think about replacing that media. So I have more videos about iron sulfur filters and troubleshooting them. If you go right here, I'll see you over there. And the question of the day is this, what questions do you have about your iron sulfur filter? I'd be happy to answer them. I read all the comments and I'd love to uh, reply to any questions you have. Just make sure you add the comments down below.